your handover video on the Eldis Explore 302. So we'll start off, you've got a BPW chassis and hitch. So tow ball goes to the, of the hitch, handle slots down, you slot that down like so to go in and to release, you pull it up, pull towards you and lift up like so. Have your handbrake, your jockey wheel and obviously you have your gas locker for storage and to hold two recommended 6 kg butane or propane gas bottles. Got a bulkhead regulator. <clears throat> also then we have your 13 pin plug, obviously which does your lights and your 12 volt to the fridge if your car is wired up correctly. Around this side we have your Truma water heater flue. We have your whale water pump inlet, which then goes into the bottom of the Acura. We then have your vent for the fridge, obviously just for the fluid, and then you obviously to get out. Your uh, toilet filler cap, so with your water and your toilet chemical to fill up your, your flush. Then obviously once to finish, you take your toilet cassette out, obviously take it into an empty pot and empty it out. As you can see, all the lights are working and the awning light. Around the near side we have your battery locker where you can have a 110 amp battery fitted, your main inlet, obviously positive and negative terminal, your battery strap to hold it in. And so now inside the caravan. So when you come into the van obviously and you hook up to say your mains electric, first thing that you want to do is go over to your control unit and make sure that all uh, you've got the main RCD facing up in the up position like so and the other MCBs facing in the same position as well. When connected to the mains they recommend you to press the test button to make sure that your van is tripping with the RCD as it should. Obviously next to that you've just got 12 volt fuse obviously for obviously 12 volts appliances. Um, obviously if something goes First thing to do is check the fuses just to make sure they have not blown. Obviously, then <clears throat> we also make sure that your drain off valve is facing in the downright position, like so. Obviously, so water can hold in the system. Above the door here, you have your button for the master. Then we have your warning light on the outside, which we seem working. We then have lights and water pump. So the main drain off valve down there, that's facing in the right position. And you press the pump button. When you press the pump, obviously you hold the pump, run all the water through from hot to cold just to bleed any air out of the system. And you do it in the kitchen tap, bathroom tap and the shower. Once done, the pump will turn on and off as it should. Red light to show that it is on, the tap's on, and when it's off, the light will go off like so. Also fitted to the van, we have a gas burner hob. So, three gas burners on the top. So obviously what you do on the top, you push it in like so, and you would get a lighter, and you would obviously light each one individually. With the oven and the grill, you hold this button like so, and if you want to go to the grill, you push it that way while holding the igniter. And then for the oven, you hold the other way, and obviously click with setting and hold the igniter. Underneath there, you have a your two gas manifolds. You also have one down here, just in case you need to know where it is. And that is for the fridge. We then have a Fetford fridge. So you have three settings, or well, technically four. You have off, you have gas, you have electric, and you have battery. Battery will only work when connected to 12 volt on the back of the car, if your car is wired up correctly. Mains, obviously once you're connected to mains, the fridge will begin to light. You will get an internal light which will come on as an indicator to, to obviously show that it is on. Gas, what you do with the gas, you turn it onto the setting mode like so, 
you hold this in while holding that in you click and click and click until you see that red line go towards the green then obviously once it's there it is lit and to turn it off just obviously turn back in the off position here we have uh, your whale space heater and water heater settings so obviously if you want to use it on electric you click that on there where it says space heater you turn it on to what temperature you want it on and then you have a setting on to have it on to one kilowatt or two or off or you can just have the fan blowing like so or you could have it just on gas and then to turn it off you just press that like so water heater on gas you just need to press that like so and obviously it'll be green it will tick and once it's lit it will continuously to stay green if it's not green and it goes red it means it's failed down here we have your water heater so turn it on electric there's no other setting you just press that like so and it will turn on your water heater there will be two pieces of paper left in the uh, in the caravan one is obviously well technically there's a box as well with paperwork for the van which came with the van uh, and you also have a winterization sheet obviously just shows you shows you the correct way to winterize a caravan obviously to stop any frost damage also here we have the warranty cover and obviously what our warranty actually includes and then obviously in highlighted what we don't include so obviously like i say feel free to read through, through just to go through a few things but that's that now i'm going to go outside and demonstrate the motor being fitted to the van on the caravan you have a true mover fitted so what you'd want to do first because this is on the van, you want to get your bar like so and you want to put it on there and you want to move it over to the wheel until it clunks into place and engages like so this one engages both sides so that's absolutely fine once that is connected to the wheel you can now release the handbrake and then turn on the red isolation speed so you push it in and turn it clockwise on the mover you hold this button here like so you hear itself connect like so and obviously once the light is stopped flashing and it's solid the mover is connected so then forward back front to near near to offside and via versa once finished hold the power button like so to hear a long beep and it will turn itself off then you turn off the isolation key obviously once the handbrake is off you can now take it off the off the wheel like so and disconnected.